Ah, uh, hello kids. So, sa video naman na ito, pag-aaralan natin kung paano mag-subtract at uh, mag-add ng fraction involving word problem. So, mag-a-analyze tayo ng mga word problem na involve yung pagsusubtract at pag-a-add ng fraction. So, ano na ba yung mga method at paano ito ginagawa. So, yun yung ating pag-aaralan sa video na ito. So, muli kasama ninyo si Teacher Bean. Uh, bago muna natin simulan itong video na ito, kung di ka pa nakasubscribe sa aking channel, please click subscribe at click mo yung notification bell para mag updated ka sa mga latest educational video. This is our first word problem we have here. Okay, basahin muna natin. Mother plans to buy one half kilogram of chicken and two feet kilogram of beef. How many kilograms of meat does she plan to buy? Okay, so ano ba? O, oh, ayan. Ito yung ating unang word problem. First, what is asked in the problem? Ano yung tinatanong? Tinatanong dito, how many kilograms of meat does she plan to buy? So, ilang kilo ng karne yung mga kanyang bibilin? ba? Diba? Yung kanyang bibilin. Na plano niyang bilin. So, ilan lahat yon. Tapos, what is the given Number. So, we have 1 half kilogram of chicken and 2 feet kilogram of beef. So, yan yung ating given. So, dito, ano ang mathematical operation na ating gagamitin? Okay, so analyze muna natin how many kilograms. ba? Ilan daw lahat yung karne kanyang bibilin o planong bilin. So, para malaman natin yun, ano ba ang operation na gagamitin natin? So, we will use addition. A-add natin itong 1 half sa 2 feet. Kilogram of beef yung sa chicken pagsasamahin natin. Kasi yun yung plano niyang bilhin ni mami. Diba? Nung mother. So, a-add lang natin ang 1 half and 2 feet. Ang gagamitin natin ay addition. Okay, para sa first step, ito yung solution muna. Ah, solution na yung gagawin natin. Ano ba yung unang step sa solution? So, lagi natin dito yung 1 half, yung given natin. Sulat lang natin. So, sulat natin sila in patayo, in vertical position. And 2 feet. Okay, ganyan. 1 half and 2 feet. Tapos, yung mathematical operation. So, ang gagamitin natin, para manama natin total na biniling karne, ang gagamitin natin ay addition. So, addition. Then, equal sign. Hanggang dito. So, ang ating given, 1 half and 2 feet. Kung ma-observe nyo, magkamukha ba sila ng denominator yung number sa ilalim? To dito, dito 5. So, magkaiba. So, magkaiba sila ng denominator. Magkaiba din ng numerator. So, ito ay, magkaiba ng denominator, ito ay dissimilar fraction. So, pag dissimilar fraction, babaguhin natin. Kailangan maging similar fraction, magkamukha ng denominator. So, right equal. Yan. Then, maglagay dito ng fraction sign. Yan. Abaguhin natin. So, ano? Hanapin natin yung LCM. Please call multiple ng 2 and 5. So, they are multiple yung 2. Diba? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Pwede siya sa 10. 5, 10. So, ang kanilang LCM ay 10. Ng 2 and 5. Diba? Sa 2, 10, 5, 10. Divisible siya ng 2, yung 10. At yung 10 din, divisible ng 5. So, yun yung LCM. Uh, meron akong video dito sa akin channel. Panoorin nyo kung paano kuhin yung LCM. So, yan. I-divide na natin. Susunod, we will divide. 10 divided by 2 is equal to 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Then, mumultiply dito. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Then, here, 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Yan. So, yan natin. Yan. Ayusin natin yun para makita. Okay. Ayan. So, 5, 10, and 4, 10. Yan. So, susunod na step, a-add na natin yan. 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. And then, Copy lang the denominator. So, the answer is 9, 10. Yung total of meat na binili nila. 
So, me, mommy. So, 90 na ang answer. So, ganun lang mag-add. So, ang ating naging sagot, the total number of meat she buy is 9, 10. Okay, we have here our next given. The Boy Scouts spend 10, 12 are do, doing their daily exercises. Okay, they only use one port R in hiking. How much time did they use for other body exercises? Okay, so let's analyze the problem. So, ano ang tinatanong dito sa word problem? Ang tinatanong, ito yung tanong. How much time did they use for other body exercises? So, ilang oras pa daw yung ginamit nila sa iba pang body exercises, sa iba pang pag-eresisyo. What is the uh, number given? Ano yung number given? We have 10, 12 are for daily exercises yung ini-spend nila sa buong araw. Then, ang ginamit lang nila, one port. One port are in hiking. Yung una nilang, ginamit nila for hiking. Sa hiking lang. So, ano gagamitin nating mathematical operation? Sa buong araw kasi, nagkakaroon sila ng 10, 12. Ang nagamit na nila, one port are. So, ilang pa doon sa ibang natira? So, ilang pang oras yun? So, gagamitin natin ay subtraction. So, tayo yung magsusubtract. Babawas natin Itong 1 port sa 10, 12. Babawas natin. Minus ang ating gagamiting mathematical operation. Next, ito yung solution. Sulat lang natin. 10, 12. Okay, 1 port. Patayo ulit. Okay, ang gagawin naman natin dito ay subtraction. Then, write the equal sign. Hanggang dito, sulat natin yung equal sign. Yan. Then, write equal. Gagawin natin similar fraction yan. Dapat maging similar fraction. Okay. Kukulay lang natin yun. Yan. Fraction sign. Okay. So, 10, mamayos natin sa 1 port. Ito yung pinaka daily hours niya sa pag-exercise eh, ng mga boy scout. Then, yung 1 port, yung na-spend nila for hiking. Ibabawas natin. So, ngayon, gagawin natin the similar, ah, similar fraction. Kasi mag-iba sila ng denominator. Ang LCM ng 12 and 4, Kasi ang 12, yeah, 12, tingnan natin. Yung 4, tingnan natin. 4, 8, 12. So, pwede siya sa 12. Same, magiging same sila. Visible by 12. Okay. Then, di-divide lang natin to Yung bagong denominator sa dati. Denominator. 12 divide by 4 is equal to 3. 3 times 1, ta times 2 sa taas, is equal to 3. Then, 12 divide by 12 is equal to 1. 1 times 10 is equal to 10. Yan, magkamukha na sila ng numerator. Ngayon, pag sinold natin yan, dito, copy lang natin yung din ha, minator na 12, then subtract lang natin yung nasa taas. The numerator, 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. Okay, 7, 12. Ayan, so, so subtract nyo lang. Mula sa pagiging dissimilar fraction na given, naging similar fraction na sila. Magkamukha na ng denominator. So, 7-12 yung oras pa na na-spend nila sa ibang exercise ng mga boys count. So, the answer is 7-12. Yan yung ating final answer. Okay, next word problem. We have Humphrey rode his bicycle one half kilometer to school and one feet kilometer to the store. What is the distance traveled by Humphrey? Okay, so ano ang ating word, um, what is as in the problem? Ano yung tinatanong? Tinatanong dito, what is the distance traveled by Humphrey? So ano daw yung distansya? Gano'ng kalayo yung tinravel ni Humphrey? So ano ang ating number given? So we have one half kilometer to school and one feet kilometer to the store. Yun yung kanyang tinakbo. So, one half kilometer going sa paaralan at one feet papunta sa tindahan. So, ano ang ating gagamitin? Mathematical operation. Para malaman natin, gano'ng kala yung tinravel ni Humphrey, yung distansya, lahat-lahat. One half kilometer sa school, one feet sa store. So, ang ating gagamitin ay, ang ating mathematical operation na gagamitin ay addition. So, mag a tayo. I-add natin ang one kilometer sa one feet. So, pag a natin yung dalawa para malaman natin kung ano yung total distance na tinravel ni 
country. So, addition yung ating gagamitin operation. Okay, this is for our solution. We have one half. Tinispay niya ang pagbabay papunta sa school and one pi papunta sa tindahan. So, ngayon, i-add lang natin to para malaman natin yung total na tinravel ni Humphrey. So, ito ay the similar fraction. Gagawin natin similar fraction. Kasi magkiba sila ng denominator. Yung sa taas, 2. Yung denominator, yung sa baba, 5. So, dapat maging magkamukha yan. So, ang gagawin natin, find the LCM. Ang LCM nila, 5, 10, 15, yung 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Pwede sila by 10. Yan, divisible sila by 10. So, yung pinaka lowest common multiple nila. Then, we will divide this to the old denominator. 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Then, 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Okay, so then, a-add na natin. Add lang natin. Kamukha na. Copy lang natin yung kanilang denominator na 10. Then, add natin. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. Okay, 7, 10. So, our answer is 7, 10. Yung total na tinravel ni Humphrey. Kasama yung sa school at yung sa tindahan. So, ito yung answer natin. So, ganun lang. From similar, the similar fraction, kailangan magkawin kamukha ng denominator. So, yun. Then, sa kanyo, ayan, pag magkamukha na, yun, didivide nyo lang to dito, then, ta-times nyo dito para makuha tong 2. Ayan, then, add lang, then, copy lang the denominator na 10. Okay, our next given. Ella received 7 nine of a chocolate bar. When John asked for some, she gave one-third. How much was left with Ella? Okay. So, si Ella daw, binigyan siya, nakareceive siya ng 7 na chocolate bar. Tapos, si John, nag-ask sa kanya humingi. Binigyan niya ito ng one-third. So, ilan daw yung natira? So, unit, ano muna ang tinatanong? What is us? How much was left with Ella? So, ilan ang natira daw kay Ella? Ano ang ating number given? 7, 9 of a chocolate bar. 7, 9. Then, 1 third she gave to John. So, 1 third. Ano ang gamitin natin mathematical operation? So, para malaman natin uh, kung ilan yung natira na chocolate bar. Kasi, humingi nga si John kay Ella. So, ang gagawin natin ay subtraction. So, magsusubtract tayo. Yung bar na 7, 9 ni Ella, babawas natin yung 1 third na hiningi ni John. So, ang gagawin natin ay subtraction. Magma-minus tayo. Magbabawas. Okay, for the solution, sulat muna nabitin yung number given in a vertical position. 7, 9. Okay, then, minus 1 third. Kalitan lang natin to. Yan. Yusin natin. 1 third. Then, equal sign. Then, equal. Yan. Then, write the fraction sign. Yan. Okay. So, hanapin muna natin yung LCM nung 9 and 3. Dahil makiba sila ng denominator, kailangan mahanap natin yung LCM yan. Okay. Ang LCM ng 9 and 3, divisible, ang LCM nila ay 9. Then, divide lang natin. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Then, 9 divided by 9 is equal to 1. 1 times 7 is equal to 7. Then, subtract sign. Okay, then 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. Then, copy the denominator, 9. Okay, so, yan. 4, 9 yung ating answer. So, ito yung natirang chocolate na hiningi ni, eh, uh, ni John kay Ella. So, 4, 9 yung natirang portion ng chocolate. So, that's our final answer. Okay. So, madali lang. Find nyo lang yung LCM. Then, divide nyo dito sa old denominator. Then, multiply dito para makuha to. Okay. Meron akong video dito. Other, uh, dito sa ating channel na tungkol sa pagkuha ng LCM. Paggawa ng from similar, ah, uh, the similar to similar fraction. Para mas maunawaan ninyo. 
And that's all for today. Sana natutunan mo kung paano mag-analyze ng mga word problem involving subtraction and addition of fraction. So, madali lang, di ba? Kung napalawin mo itong whole part ng ating video, sana natutunan mo. At ma-analyze mo mabuti yung mga given at yung word problem. At kung may tanong ka, huwag ka lang mahiya. Uh, ask mo lang ako dito sa ating comment section sa baba at magre-reply ako. At uh, if you like video na to, please click the like button. So, maraming salamat. Till next time with Teacher Bean.